Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we are going to be going over the Lunar New Year campaign information that is now available in-game. Of course, the campaign itself will be starting tomorrow, but we do have some information to go over. And along with that, we have some changes to the sale of the paid sale-ass packs. So, of course, the bundles that you can buy using real currency will be getting changes we'll see what changes those exactly are positive or negative we'll have to wait and see and then of course along with all of that we have some new stages to trial out the test of strength stage and the ranking battle practice stage in the brand new event well i say brand new event the new event that we have available in the game in regards to valentine's of course right so of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and let me know your guys' thoughts on everything that was shown off in this video i'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below now apologies if i sound a little bit tired I have been streaming for the last five hours on the second channel uh, for Star Rail. Of course, the brand new stories come out, which, by the way, story is insane. Um, so I'm I was I'm really tired from that stream, and now I'm going to be going into work in about 45 minutes. So I'm double timing this, you know, video basically. I'm I'm, I'm having to put it on the double speed basically and try and get this done and out for you guys to watch as well so hopefully you guys go on to enjoy it and hopefully you guys enjoy the dedication i have for you know providing you guys content so let's take a look at the lunar new year campaign first and foremost of course the real question for this banner has, you know that we had since it was announced is that you know whether or not there will be potentially limited units or not now personally i don't think so i think it was possible but Obviously, if it was containing limited units, I think they would have probably put them on the main image, right? It would have made a lot of sense for them to be on the main image rather than, you know, just hidden behind all of these non-time limited characters and stuff. But there was still some hope in that regards, right? To make it really valuable here, right? So the Lunar New Year campaign to commemorate the Lunar New Year has been confirmed to be held from the 8th of February, so tomorrow onwards. During the event period, you can draw from the limited gacha for free once per day. Take advantage of this opportunity. You are character 1.5 times rate up. We've already seen this image, so we want to know the details here. Lunar New Year attribute gacha is live. A limited gacha featuring a lineup of characters grouped by each attribute is now available. Also, the probability of obtaining your characters has been increased to a special rate of 4.5%, which is 1.5 times the normal rate. Additionally, you can use each gacha once daily for free, making it a great value gacha. In this gacha, conducting the 10 draw will guarantee you an SSR or higher in the 10th slot. So, the one gacha per day is a single per day. It's not a multi per day. I wish it was a multi per day because that would be five multis per day, but I think that would have been too insane, right? I think everybody would agree with me on that one. That would have been ridiculous at that point. That would have been too many multis, some would say. But, of course, one single per day and, uh, of course, giving the opportunity for people to, uh, you know, maybe do multiple multis if they wanted to is also a great thing. Also, by using the result medal black... Um, you obtain through each gacha you can acquire tickets that allow you to use gachas guaranteeing your characters of each attribute take advantage of this opportunity now let's take a look at the uh important notice contents are subject to change free one-time draw for lunar's new York attribute gacha cannot be carried over it does not include limited time characters so good thing they mentioned that i mean it's better that they mention it than not say anything and then we go into tomorrow and be like oh everybody was expecting limited characters right so i think that's fine there um so duration for each gacha is, uh, is the same so they will all no longer be available and yeah pretty much very straightforward otherwise everything else is very much uh you know the stuff we already know in regards to the lunar new year now to be quite honest i think this is all fine and good um i just wish that maybe there was something else to the campaign as well maybe right i'm okay with the fact that there's a banner of course bit of a bait banner to be quite honest but it's at least consists of free gachas every single day right so that helps a lot for sure right but i do believe that you know maybe they could have probably done a little bit more in terms of potentially dropping uh you know maybe a two times stamina uh or two times uh drop rate on upgrade quests or daily quests and uh half stamina in the story quest so something like that i think that would have been really really cool but i think they're really saving up a lot of that sort of stuff for the half anniversary campaign so it's understandable in that regards that they kind of want to you know let it be for now and then uh, you know consider bringing those things later down the line for when we do need to uh, uh or when we will probably use it the most especially during the half anniversary right so yeah 
makes sense in that regards now let's take a look at the changes to the sale of paid sales now this is a point of contention i think a lot of people feel like it's uh very rough in this game when it comes to paid sales like you know the uh, you know some people believe that you know units should be guaranteed within two or three multis which i agree i think they need to start doing that i think the artemis banner showed that it was absolutely a banging decision to do that of course right i think a lot of people bought the sales packs to do that right I was one of them, of course, as you can see right there. But a lot of people still feel like there's not enough value to the packs itself. The bundles themselves are, are a little bit overpriced, which, to be quite honest, I agree with. I think for the most part, it is slightly above average. I wouldn't say it's the most expensive I've seen. I've seen even worse gacha packs in many, many games, including big games like Dokkan Battle and stuff like that. But... That doesn't change the fact that this game should be trying to make it more uh, incentivized to buy the bundles if they are good value. So let's take a look and see what they have here. Regarding changes to the sale of paid sales, in consideration of the recent depreciation of the yen, we will be making some adjustments to the amount of free sales obtained when purchasing paid sales. Also, with the same update, we will be resetting the bargain packs. For more details, please refer to the notice regarding reset of pack purchase contents. On the other hand, the purchase of paid sales in the Japanese version will remain as before. Okay, so in recent consideration of the recent depreciation of the yen, we will be making some adjustments to the amount of free sales obtained when purchasing paid sales. Okay, so I assume this will be the same in the in regards. Like the amount will be the same, but the um, pack contains or the free sales I should specify. Sorry, specifically. The free sellers obtained will be different, is my assumption here. So let's take a look. So this will be taking place next week on the 14th of February um, is when this will be happening. So let's take a look here. So App Store, Google Play Store, and Exola. Um, so before the uh, adjustment for $2, dollars you get 120 paid sellers. Now you get 120 plus 70 free sellers. 400 sellers, 400 plus 170, not just 400. And 800 gets 340 free sellers. So you're basically getting way more. What? So for $30, instead of just 50 sales, free sales, you're getting 1,100 free sales. Okay, game. Okay, yeah, no, this is a huge boost, honestly. So the normal pack, the $100 pack, now gives you effectively what is four multis. I would say four a bit multis instead of just three multis, which is super nice, of course, right? Um, and then the one-time only packs are also getting a big boost there, as you can see. Wow, the one-time uh, 12,001 is getting you not 12,000 anymore. It's like more like 16, it's like 17,140. God damn. Wow, okay. Um, This pack will only apply from March 24, 2024, it seems like. Okay, sounds good. This is for my card on the PC version. Okay. This is this is uh, this is the PC version basically. Um, NTD. I don't know what NTD is to be quite honest. No idea what this is. But uh, yeah, it seems like you're gonna be getting way more free sellers. This is going to be really valuable for a lot of players. A lot of players who might have been like really frustrated with the prices and stuff. Honestly, you're gonna be getting more value out of this. I wonder. I wonder. Now that I'm thinking about this, right? I wonder if this is because, of course, you know. I've been making videos talking about this and a lot of other people probably are as well. We've been making videos talking about how, you know, for 50 bucks, for, for 50 bucks, we're getting this pack basically, right? Um, this one right here, right? We're getting this pack, right? Uh, where is it? Uh, the 8,000, this one, right? Whereas obviously in the, uh, in the US region and stuff or, or outside of Japan, you have to pay the same amount or, or the, for the same amount, you have to pay $100, basically double. I wonder if it's them saying basically like, we, we kind of know about that now. So we're going to make it more valuable if you're not playing on the JP client to buy these things, which, and if they don't change the JP client, that is, we'll have to wait and see next week. That's going to be very interesting. Because it might just be that, basically, is that they're trying to stop people from buying on the JP client, I think, I think, at least. We'll have to wait and see on that front, though. Um, let's quickly do one round of this test of strength, and we'll do uh, ranking battle practice as well, to just get an idea on exactly what sort of score we're getting. Um, like, I've just taken the team randomly. I don't know if it's going to be... Uh, it's not, It's probably not the best team. Probably should be taking, like, a Haruhime or something to basically... Um, get a little bit more damage out as well, right, for the damage increase and stuff. 
But I want to see what exactly we're dealing with here. Okay, my guy is actually really uh, tanky. Okay. I wasn't expecting him to be this tanky. Hopefully he has a shield that pops up. Uh, that would be really, really helpful there. Because if he gets a shield back... Uh, okay, oh, I didn't realize he was going to keep smashing up there. Let's do this. Do this. Drop it down on his head. Alright, one second. Ishtar, go here. And then we can do this. I want to just I want to try this uh, stage out. Um, and see how actually hard it will be. I don't think it's going to be that hard, to be quite honest. Based on, well, at least this, to be quite honest. Alright, the movement speed has decreased, which is going to help us out a little bit for sure. Let's see what we can do here. Thanks, Val, for reducing his movement speed. He is uh, a sitting duck, to be honest. Hit him with it. Oh, boy. I was a bit worried there. I didn't want to use my ult there, but uh, I kind of had to use somebody's ult there. Because otherwise, we would have been absolutely ruined. We would have been in shambles. We would have been in absolute shambles. I think if I had Hestia there, we would have been absolutely fine. But I, I Hestia was still under cooldown, unfortunately. I need, uh, I need him to shield back up, please. Thank you very much. We're supposed to finish this in 30 seconds, apparently, by the way. I don't know how. I mean, unless you probably have, like, A5 Artemis. <laughs> you're not going to get Platinum at all. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to get Platinum at all. Alright, can we uh, do your shield here? Alright, very nice. Let's do this. Alright, I'm going to just attack normally. There we go. And drop it down. There we go. Let's see. Hit him with it. And then do this. There we go. Very nice. Can we drop this on him? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna need to run. Uh, actually, we're, we're fine. Hopefully he doesn't shield up again. Okay, thank god he didn't shield up. The fact that he did uh, he that he did that back to back is so frustrating. I kind of was expecting it, but I was like, let's see, maybe maybe he w he won't actually do it again. All right, he needs to stop. Is he gonna shield back up? I don't know. I'm trying to be a bit cautious here because I don't know if he's gonna shield back up. I think he's shielding up here. All right, drop this down on his head. Will this work in the same time? All right, there we go. And then do this. There we go. There we go. Finished it off. About two and a half minutes. Could have been a bit better, to be quite honest. I think if I had Haruhime instead of like Finn or something, I think we would have been absolutely fine. Because that would have given us a lot more damage there. Just a B rank. I, I think we could have done better there. We could have done better there. Um, also, I think Aisha was uh, lacking in her scene cards. I think I was running the <laughs> I think I think was running the event scene cards, which doesn't really help at all. Um, let me just check. Yeah, I was running the event scene cards, which I guess I got a bonus there. I got one extra medal, I suppose. <laughs> but no, anyways, um, let's try this out. Let's see how this team fares in the ranking battle practice stage. And that is going to be where we will obviously call it, of course, for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the whole thing with the um, uh, change in paid Selas, as well as the um, overall situation with the um, uh, thingy Mababa as well. Okay, this guy is here as well. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm quite curious to see your thoughts on that. I'm actually quite curious to see what everybody has to say in regards to the... Uh, oh, God. These guys are knockbackers. Um, all right, that's fine. All right, one second. There we go. One hit managed to defeat the mob, by the way. Crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be quite curious to see what you guys have to say in regards to the... Um, paid say last change and of course the lunar new year campaign um and let me know what you guys think about these brand new stages as well do you guys like them do you think they're they're easy hard what do you guys think um is it going to be easy to get a top score which one do you guys think is better actually as well i'm curious to see if you guys think that uh i you know artemis is better or ryu is better because of course i know a lot of people will be deliberating between which of the two is better um in terms of usage in this uh, in this mode especially i'm actually quite curious to see what you all have to say there we go, do this. Switch back to Artemis. Do this, there we go. I thought that would have been enough. I probably should use uh, Hestia immediately quite uh, early on because he'll uh, she'll at least have like the ability to uh, one hit KO a lot of the uh, enemies then of course accordingly. There we go. 
Love how the guy spawns in and I'm like, nope, not today, buddy. Come on. There we go. This is pretty simple, the way they're spawning in. I just need to get an idea on, like, how exactly their spawns work in terms of, like, exactly where they spawn, when they spawn. But for the most part, I think it's pretty straightforward as to what their spawns look like, to be quite honest. I think it's pretty straightforward. I don't think it'll be that complicated. Although, I, I will say this. I probably should be a little bit more careful about, like, uh, their certain abilities and stuff because they seem to be kind of frustrating in the sense of like they're annoying in terms of like the um knockbacks and stuff so we have a minute to go let's see there we go oh wait they just spawned in as well damn do this drop this on his head we can move along he's gonna get involved with all of those that mess Do this. There we go. Yeah, that Artemis' snipe can be really good if you can target really well with uh, her snipe and also get the enemy at the same time. Oh, God. I didn't realize that that was going to be so frustrating at that point. Do this. There we go. There we go. Did we kill the brown back or no? No, we didn't. I'm going to just drop this on their heads. This is actually a very interesting, uh, it's a very basic event ranking compared to like the last one. I think, I think the most interesting one we've had was the one we had in New Year's. I think that was very cool for me personally. I thought that was very fascinating because obviously it, it all involved in like figuring out whether or not to go for the orcs and stuff. This feels like a little bit back to basics. So I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't think of anything a little bit special here. Um... But of course, that's a complaint that a lot of people have been having is that there's lack of variety and stuff. And I feel like this is the first time even I'm probably going to complain about this one. It feels very basic. 10,000 valors, but of course, it's technically a score of 5,550 because of course of the uh, way um, the scoring system works. You get 5,000 valors as a bonus for some reason. It's technically 5,550. But we'll probably do some more testing, figure out the best mechanics, but I'm kind of not impressed with this one, I'm not gonna lie. In the sense of like, I wanted a little bit more of a interesting, different sort of take on the uh, stage, but it seems like it's pretty much a very simple stage in certain terms of like, it's very similar to what we've already had in the game before, you know? There's nothing really special about like, oh, now there's two bosses that you have to deal with. You have to figure out which is the best strategy. Do you go for the eyes or go, do you go for the orc, you know? I think that was what made that last event ranking very special to me. And I found it way more enjoyable and quite different and challenging in a way as well, you know? It required you to be a little bit more tactical in terms of your approach. We had a lot of tactics. I know some people were like, oh, let's kill all the orcs at one point together at the end. Like, let's keep them alive until the end. Or the fact of the matter was to go all the guns blazing. And then there was another strategy as well where you do a mix and match of the two. So there were options at least in those uh runs right whereas this one it feels like well it's pretty straightforward you go in you go you go in you deal damage go out kind of thing and keep rinsing and repeating all your strategizing really is your positioning effectively which is also fine i think that's a great thing to strategize as well you need to be very smart on where you're positioning your characters but I feel like that could be done a bit better. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about everything in the game right now. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below. Do you guys like the new changes coming up? Of course, the Lunar New Year banner. Hopefully, you know, you guys get what you want. What are you guys targeting? If there is any unit you're targeting, what unit will you be targeting in the gacha? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.